guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this adorable cherry pie granny square as the next part of our Bake Shop Blanket series. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to start with your red yarn and an H 5mm hook. We're also going to be using a G 4mm hook um, in just a moment. So you will need both hook sizes, an H and a G for this. We're going to start with a red worsted weight yarn and a magic ring and we're just going to chain up one. And then we're going to do some single crochets in the magic ring. You're going to do 10 single crochets. And then once you've done those 10 single crochets, go ahead and tighten your magic ring. And you can slip stitch in that first single crochet to finish round one. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and switch hooks. I'm doing this just so that because we're going to be doing bobble stitches in just a moment, I want a smaller hook for the bobble stitches so that they're not so giant. I want them a bit smaller, but I don't want all of the stitches smaller. So we chained up two for round two, and now we're going to start a bobble stitch. So really it's just four double crochets that are unfinished. So each one, you can see I'm only yarning over and pulling through the first two loops on my hook at a time. So here is our fourth double crochet and you only pull through the first two loops so now you should have one two three four five loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all of those so that's a bobble stitch so bobble stitch in the first stitch and then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and then repeat that all the way around bobble and single crochet you should wind up with five bobble stitches so here we are finishing our fifth bobble stitch and then our fifth single crochet and then we're just going to slip stitch in that first uh, bobble stitch. So go ahead and slip stitch there. You might have a little trouble finding that stitch. You kind of have to look on what looks like the back of your work. Go ahead and chain up two. And in this next round, round three, we're going to just be working some double crochets in each stitch. So we're going to do two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So in both those bobble stitches and your single crochets, we're going to work two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. Make sure that you're looking very carefully at your work. You might have to turn it over a bit. Those bobble stitches tend to pull the top of the stitch toward the back of your work. So make sure that you are stitching in the top of that stitch and you can see how it should be looking there. So go all the way around. Here we are finishing up round three. Go ahead and slip stitch in the first double crochet. You can see how it should be looking. It should look somewhat like a little sand dollar kind of shape. And it should be laying pretty flat at this point. Maybe not perfectly flat, but that's okay. Um, go ahead and chain up two. And then we're gonna repeat round two. So we're going to go ahead and bobble stitch in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch and repeat that all the way around. If you need any additional help with any of these stitches or you get lost at all, I do have the link to the written pattern in the description box or feel free to leave me a comment below. I keep up with the comments on all my videos and check them every day. So if you ever have any problems or anything, please leave me a comment down there. So after we've come all the way around with our bobbles and our single crochets, we're gonna slip stitch that closed and you should see how it should be looking. It should give you just a nice kind of concentric bumpy texture. So now we're going to switch yarns. We're going to move to our pie crust, which I use just a Karen one pound um, beige color yarn. I do have links to all of the exact yarns and exact hooks that I used uh, with the written pattern over on my blog. So make sure to click the pattern link if you'd like to get any of the exact yarns that I use. So we're going to go ahead and snip that red yarn. We're done with that for now. And we've gotten our beige yarn on our hook. We've chained up one and we're just going to single crochet all the way around in the tops of all those stitches. So again, you're working in the tops of the bobbles and the single crochets. One single crochet in the beige all the way around. So here we are finishing that up and go ahead and slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. Go ahead and chain up one and we're going to switch back to our H hook here. I just want the flouted or fluted pie crust look 
to be a bit more pronounced, so that's why I go up a hook size. So here we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then slip stitch in the next one. You can see here that my stitches are kind of tight because I'm switching from that G to the H hook. So it may be a little difficult to work into, but I just like this particular round to be a bit more pronounced and a bit bigger stitches. So that's just my personal preference. So once you've come all the way around alternating two single crochets and a slip stitch, go ahead and you can fasten off here after you've slip stitched that closed. And we are done with the uh, actual pie portion. We're going to do the lattice um, kind of crust here. So go ahead and take your G hook and your beige yarn and we're going to start with a slip knot and then chain 15. So go ahead and chain 15 and really what we're going to be doing here is just creating a series of little foundation chains and we're not going to ever work into them. So once you have 15 chains, you're going to go ahead and finish off that yarn and just pull it through like you would if it, you were you know, finishing off your work. So snip your yarn, you don't need to leave a super long tail, just enough to kind of sew down that edge. And go ahead and make six of these. So six chains of 15. And here you can see I have six and I've sewn them down. So what you wanna do first is take three of them and just sew them down going one direction. And then crossing over, you wanna take one that goes under, over, under, and then over, under, over, and then the last one will go under, over, under. If you need to pause that right here so you can make sure you are um, sewing those down right, please feel free to do that. I just sewed them down right on the edge. Don't sew down the entire chain, just the edge so that you can weave it how you need to. So now for the granny square portion, taking our H hook, you can go into any of those outside stitches. I looked at this in terms of the, that little fluted edge to the pie crust when we did the two single crochets and the slip stitch in that last round of the pie. Um, I just looked at kind of the point of that fluted edge and counted that. So you wanna start your first corner of your granny square in one of those points of your fluted pie crust edge and we're doing a chain up two and then two double crochets, chain three and three double crochets. And then you wanna skip a point of your fluted pie crust and go into the next kind of little fluted pie crust point. When you are working this yourself, it's a lot easier to see what I'm talking about there. Um, but really all you're doing is you're just skipping um, basically six stitches if you wanna count it st stitch wise but it was easier for me to just look at those little flutes of pie crust and skip a little bumpy piece before working in the next one. And if you are confused about this granny square portion at all, please look at my other bake shop square videos and I go much more in depth on how to do this. We're gonna do three rounds of the granny square stitches. And after you've done three rounds, that is it. This is our cherry pie bake shop blanket square. I hope you guys loved it and I'll see you next time.